Hey there friends, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for joining me today. And today I have a very fun idea for you guys. I am going to be talking about eyeshadow palettes, but I'm going to be talking about palettes from brands that I do not own a eyeshadow palette from. So I thought it'd be fun to take the if I could only keep one palette from a certain brand, what palette would it be? But this is going to be the reverse. If I could only buy one palette from a brand, what would it be? So if I could only buy one palette from a brand that I do not own palettes from, what would that palette be? So I picked 10 brands and I'm going to talk about them today. So hello, yes, welcome if you know. I already said my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty on this channel. We talk a lot about eyeshadow palettes and um, that's what we're doing again today because that's what I like to do the most. So I hope you guys like eyeshadow palette content and you'll stick around and subscribe. That would be part and I'd love to have you be part of the D&B crew. That goes without saying because hey, we have a lot of fun here on this channel. All right, got 10 brands. I'm gonna um, put a little picture of the um, palette right down here so you guys can see the palette that I'm referencing. I don't own any of these. So I came up with 10 brands. I came up with 10 brands and the first brand I'm gonna talk about is Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona. Now I did at one point have the Mini Leela palette. Um, I uh, didn't like that palette and I gave it away. Gave it to my daughter and um, I'd never heard whether or not she liked it or not, but I ended up not keeping that. So I don't have a palette from Natasha Denona. If you're gonna give me the option to buy one palette from Natasha Denona, one palette, it's going to be the Retro palette. This was not a cut and dry decision for me. It was between the Retro palette and the Trio Chrome palette. I really like the tones in the Trio Chrome palette. I really like the greens, the purples, and the you know kind of mustardy, grungy tones. But I have a lot of those in my collection already. I also have a lot of mauves and berries in my collection too. So it's not like I need this palette, but if I was gonna pick one, I decided to go with this. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's definitely one that, that piqued my interest when it came out. And uh, that would be the one I would buy from Natasha Denona. It would be the retro palette for sure. Okay, so the next brand I wanna talk about is Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Blend Bunny. Blend Bunny is on my list of brands to try in 2022. I will try Blend Bunny at some point. But I can't get everything, but I want everything. I want the brushes, I want all palettes, I want all of it. And I'm super, super eager to get my hands on something now, but I can only one buy one palette. I can only buy one palette from this brand. What palette would it be? Uh, it would be the Surge palette. I want the Dollhouse palette and the Blends palette too. Oh, darn it, I want them all, but I want the Surge palette first. I think that's the one I want the first. I just love that row in the middle. You guys know how much I love dark mattes and to have that many dark, deep, dark mattes in every like color, you know, it, you know, just like that, a blackened version of that color. It, it's just so great. It's such a great, great, great thing to have and I would definitely want to add that to my collection. I don't need any more, I have so many dark mattes at this point because I mean, I seek them out. So anytime there's a palette that has dark mattes, I'm like, ah, I, I want it and, and I get it immediately. So anyway, that is the palette that I would want from Blend Money. I want the brushes, I want the dollhouse, I want the blends, I want it all, but I can only pick one. So it's the Surge palette from Blend Money Cosmetics. Okay, let's go back to another bougie brand. I do not own anything from uh, Mother Pat McGrath. I do not own anything from that lady because I just don't want to spend $125 on an eyeshadow palette. I don't. <laughs> and uh, But boy, she's got some beautiful palettes. And um, the one I picked, the one I picked is the one that recently restocked. It's the Mothership 3, the Subversive palette. It's this one right here. Oh, God. I, I mean, look at the tones in it. That should tell you something right there. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. And uh, I, I think that that would be the one that I would want. Now, I don't know if I'll ever own a Pat McGrath palette. A lot of people are like, well, why didn't you get the holiday palettes? Well, you know what? I still didn't want to bite the bullet. I didn't, still didn't want to spend, you know, 70 plus dollars or 80 dollars for the holiday palette. And I know they went on sale and I debated it then, and the, you know, but I really want a mothership palette. If I'm going to go for Pat, Pat McGrath, I want to go for one of those mothership palettes, but I just can't do it yet. Maybe, maybe I'll get a gift or something and... And I'll do it then, but at some point I'm, I'm, I want to get one, but Subversive is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, you know, um, and it's funny, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking, oh, all of Pat McGrath's palettes look the same. Well, I'm looking at all of these Mothership palettes and I'm like, no, they're all different. They're all different enough to be unique in their own way. But uh, yeah, 
It's the Subversive from Pat McGrath. Okay, let's move on to another one. Okay, I want to talk about this brand real quick. Now, last night when I checked, um, and I'm talking about Dee Dee Signature. Now, I don't know if she's going out of business or if she's just closing her shop or what's going on, but I went on her website last night and I was able to um, browse her store. And um, so I don't know if she's going to sell all of her product and then close her store or what's going on. Like, I'm not exactly sure, but talk about a shame. I, I really want to try DD Signature this year. That's another brand that's on my list of brands to try for 2022. So I thought about, um, last night I thought about buying one of the palettes, but I had to, um, you know, uh, go through all of them and I picked one of the skewer palettes. The one I picked is the exotic skewer palette. It's the one in the green packaging with the um, teals, the purple, and the pink. That's the one I would want. That was the one that I wanted um, first from uh, Dee Dee Signature. Now, I hope to God that she is not going out of business. I mean, it sounded, her Instagram post kind of indicated that she was like taking a break or she was it, but it, but the actual post itself said store closing. So, but she may be back. So I'm not sure. Maybe she's just taking a break, mental health break, which we all need. Trust me, God. Anybody knows that is me. So um, I hope she's all right. And I hope that her brand comes back because we've had some sad news in the makeup world recently. Boy, Makeup Geek, that was something I, you know, I, I never thought I'd see the day. Um, makeup Geek has not as been as popular in recent years as it had in the past, but they still had, you know, good solid products that people, people really liked. And so now it's sad to see that, but we're not talking about Makeup Geek here. We're talking about Dee Dee Signature right now and I would buy that exotic skewer palette. It's beautiful. So let's go on to, okay, let's go back to another bougie brand who did something very, very smart this past week, and I'm really excited about it because now I really want to try the brand, and it's Viseart. Uh, Viseart decided to take their pro palettes and make mini versions of them and make them half the price, which was, why didn't you do that sooner? Such a good idea, such a, such, such a smart move on their part to do this. So they released petite versions of their pro palettes. And um, it was a pro palettes or their, um, you know, their matte palettes, their, you know, their 12 pen matte palettes. And if you guys know me, you know which one I pick. Dark mats, <laughs> dark mats. Of course it's gonna be the dark mats. Come on, what else would you expect from me? The dark mats. Um, you got, you know, some really deep colors in there, um, perfect for deepening up looks, which, you know, deepening up the crease, which is I, which is what I love to do. So, um, yeah, that was a no brainer for me, the Viseart, uh, petite dark mats. Definitely, definitely want that, th want those now. And I, I think I can see a Viseart purchase in the future. I really do. Um, $40 for a little tiny palette like that, but it's Viseart and it's, it's, it's a, it's a more doable price point for me. I can, I can get on board with that. It's 12 shades. You know, I can get on board with $40 for 12, 12 shades from Viseart. I can do that. That's not unreasonable to me. So I'm there. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm ready. So who knows? Maybe I'll try Viseart this year. You never know. Okay. So let's talk about Kylof Beauty, formerly known as Muse Beauty. Um, this one, if you guys have been uh, loyal followers of this channel for a while, you'll know that I've wanted to try this brand for a long time, I just never have, but I've mentioned this palette um, a few times on my channel before as the palette that I want from Kyle of Beauty, and it's the Van Gogh palette. This was the one that speaks to me the most, the blues, the dark, you know, deep grungy tones with the oranges and the green. It, it's just the perfect color story for me. It's the kind of colors I like to go for. Um, I like all of her other palettes. I'm not into the Le Dan palette because there's nothing deep in there, so there always has to be something deep. Uh, and I got enough depth in this palette for me to really, really get some good use out of it. Because Lord knows I bounce around. I didn't bounce around with my palette choice today. In case you're wondering, my palette choice of the day is the uh, Odensei Exangelica Hello Palette. Of course I got it because, you know what, hey, I got to support my girl. And I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm looking forward to next month because I'm probably going to get a chance to see her in uh, Austin when I'm traveling through Texas. So I'm super excited about that. So anyway, um, what brand were we talking about? We we're talking about Kyla. Yeah, I really wanna try that brand and I really wanna try that little Van Gogh palette. And it's a good price point. I like those nine pan palettes. I really like the Triumph of Venus as well. That's one that's really, really blue with that pop of orange in it. I really wanted to try that one as well. I like unique color stories. 
um, and that had some depth in it as well. So, but I, I, I really want to stick with the Van Gogh on this one. So we're going to stick with Van Gogh. Let's talk about, let's see, Game Beauty, another brand I want to try. They're not on the must try list this year in 2022. I don't think that they are, but um, they're definitely on my radar and I really am interested in them. And I've heard mixed reviews on a couple of their palettes and I've heard good things and bad things about the palette that I'm going to select. But this was the one immediately when I looked at all four of the palettes she has already, I knew this was the one that I wanted. It's the Harbinger palette. This one right here uh, with the with the deep blue and the, you know, the dusty brownish purple and that kind of that cool marble marble shade in there. That was the one. <laughs> that one, that was a no-brainer for me. I looked at it and I said, that's the one. That's the one I'm going to get is the, is the Harbinger palette. And I, I, I like the concept of Game Beauty. I, I wish I knew what games... You know, I wish I knew which games they were related to. And if she ever does, probably a World of Warcraft palette. I'm all about that. Because I'm a huge World of Warcraft fan. I used to play it a long time ago. I absolutely love it. If I had time to play it, again, I would. But once I became a parent, there's just no playing video games anymore. It's just not. It's hard enough doing makeup. So video games are very, very involved. So I loved World of Warcraft. I love games. I love video games. I'm not a gamer. But I, I'm, I'm down. I'm down with. I'm down with gaming. So I think it's cool. I like the concept of the brand and the Harbinger palette is the one that I would pick. All right, let's pick another brand. All right, Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics, a brand I really would like to try. And um, you know, I was really, really stoked when I went to their website um, because they have pre-built like you know singles, like a bundle, like a palette. You can buy them as palettes. And they come with, you know, the shades are all removable, even on their, you know, their um, existing palettes that they sell as palettes, not as singles. And so I like the concept of Lethal. And I, I love the color schemes that they had on there. But I decided to go with a actual palette, not like a set of singles. And the one I picked was the Velvet Dusk palette. This just had some rich colors in it, some depth in it. That is the kind of color story that I typically look for. Um, and, you know, I've, I've noticed uh, sometimes with Lethal, some of the Lethal palettes that I've seen, um, there's a lot of mid-range colors, but not a lot of deepening colors. And I see some depth in the Velvet Dusk that I don't see in some of the other palettes. I like the Nightflower palette. It's the one that they just came out with. It's pretty too, but it needed a couple of really dark mattes in there for me, for me to like be interested in that because I was, I was seriously considering it. But I was just like, nah, I don't have enough deepness in there. So I went with the Velvet Dusk. And I'm not going back on that one. So the Velvet Dusk is the one that I picked from Lethal. Okay, let's do Adept Cosmetics. Okay, this one is easy. <laughs> this one was easy. I looked at, you know, you, you have the Codain, the Omni Net New, Plain Jane, Plain Jane Remastered, and Nenhydrin, and Nenhydrin 1000%. I want that Nenhydrin palette. I want that Nenhydrin palette. I thought about it, and I'm like... I don't know, sometimes Adept, you gotta wait for them to restock or they have to do a pre-sale and like, you have to jump on them right away. But it, the, 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 it's just a little bit of, I mean, I know that they're special shades. I know that they're special shimmers and the duochromes and whatnot. So I, I, I definitely wanna try Adept. But if I'm gonna go for an Adept palette, it's this, it's the Nanhydrin or the Ominate New, and the Nanhydrin is the one that I've always wanted. Ever since I saw it, um, I've been interested in the brand, but the Nenhydrin is the one that I really, really want. It's so pretty. It's so, so, so pretty. Yeah, so definitely that one. Okay, let's see, what else do I got left? Um, oh, Give Me Glow. Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I have been wanting to try Give Me Glow for a hot minute, and I actually went to the Give Me Glow site to look at all the palettes, and most of the palettes are in stock. Now, there was a time when I went to go to Give, you know, give Me Glow to buy a palette, and I was like, I can't, they're, they're never in stock. It was like Menagerie. And uh, when I went and there a bunch of them are in stock and I was just thinking, I was like, well, maybe I should buy the pool and buy myself a Gimme Glow palette. So I looked at all of them and I know you guys are expecting me to say Bad Witch Club. I know you're expecting me to say Bad Witch Club, but I'm not gonna say Bad Witch Club. The one I picked is Christmas Morning. I love this. I love the cranberry and the, the, the green, the tone of the green. And I love how there's a corresponding shimmer to every matte. It's just such a beautiful palette, and it does really encapsulate Christmas, but that that pretty, like, not, you know, primary Christmas red and green, but that, you know, that that evergreen and that cranberry, just such beautiful shades, beautiful shades. I, I really, really, really like that one, and that was the one that, um, that, uh, 
I was the most interested in when I, when I, when I really sat and looked at it. I was like, oh God, I, I, I was thinking about Juicy Olive too. But at this point, at this point in, in my makeup journey, I have a lot of green eyeshadow at this point. I do not need another green eyeshadow palette at all. I don't. I have, you know, I have my, um, my Sci-Fi Green. I have my Avocado Toast. I have my Perfusion Emeralds. I have, you know, a bunch of singles. I have so much green. Uh, Angie's palette. I have so much green. I don't need any green. So. I just, I, I, I was like, no, I'm not going to do Juicy Olive. I wanted it at one time, and I still would like to have it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's Christmas morning. Christmas morning. Who doesn't love Christmas morning? I don't know. Those are 10 palettes. 10 palettes from 10 brands that I do not own a palette from. And uh, that's all she wrote, guys. So what brands do you want to buy palettes from but have never bought a palette from? And if you could buy a palette from that brand, what palette would it be? Leave me a comment down below and uh, I will try to get um, back to you as soon as possible. I'm in the midst of Girl Scout cookie season and my head's about to roll off of my shoulders. So there's that. But anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to just leave you with some little hearts here just to show you how much I love you because those little finger hearts are so cute, aren't they? And uh, you guys are amazing and awesome. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!